Good evening. How you doing? You recognize this mask? Mr. Robot. Great show. This is my Halloween uh, my Halloween costume and by the time you're seeing this this may be Halloween. Maybe you're up late tonight. Uh, just thought I'd have a little fun. But uh, what I want to talk about tonight is quality of service. Um, but before we get into that, I got a couple more things I want to talk about. Um, many of you um, are also subscribed to Crosstalk Solutions, and Chris and I are going to do a live stream, I believe, on November 11th. That's a Friday. So watch for news on that. We're going to be putting the time out, and we're going to have you guys, you know, uh, come ask questions, try to stump the swamis, things like that. So. I can't wait for that. That's that's exciting. Um, something else that's going to be happening is um, my friend David Stahl uh, down in Florida. He's also over on the Ubiquity community. He's a master programmer, and he actually has created a Roku channel for me, and a lot of my content is going to be available on Roku instead of just YouTube, so that's exciting. Um, we haven't launched it yet. We're still working out some of the details, but that's going to be coming soon. So I'll link to that when it's available. Um, I passed the VCP, so that's awesome. No more studying for that. So I'm going to get a lot more videos that are a lot more, uh, you know, in depth on the technical side. And what we're going to pretend um, that we have is, you know, we're at a small remote site and the users of this site are going to remote desktop or RDP into, you know, another system. Now, RDP happens to be a protocol that Microsoft actually came up with, but it is it is a protocol, and we can actually specify quality of service on that protocol. Now, usually when we're talking about quality of service, we're talking about voice over IP, and when you're working with voice over IP, you are talking about um, DSCP or um, SIP, uh, RTP, and um, uh, DSCP is a differentiated services code point. And what that is, is it's a, a packet header that um, basically requests a, a certain level of service from your, your hardware and, and software on the network. So, but what we're going to do is we are going to configure an edge router for so what we're going to do is we're going to configure quality of service for RDP, remote desktop. Um, and this is going to be pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but it's going to give you an idea how to get in there and configure it. We are going to do this all through the command line. I really want you to get used to using that command line. I know the GUI is cool. Ubiquity has, hands down, the best GUI um, graphical user interface for the of their networking equipment of, of any other um, manufacturer out there but we are going to do this particular exercise in the CLI so follow along and we'll talk about um, you know each of the steps as we go through it okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to SSH into our device and um, we're going to go into configure mode and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create um, the, the policy and we're going to create a download and an upload policy and we're going to do the download policy first so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do set uh, po or, uh, traffic policy because so you can see there's a traffic control and a traffic policy by the way I just hit the tab key there if you're not familiar with that um, tab will do auto complete possible auto completions so you can see there's traffic control and traffic policy those are my two possible completions when I hit the tab with uh, traffic and a hyphen and we're gonna do a policy and we're gonna do and then if we do a question mark on policy you can see everything else we've got in here we are actually gonna use the uh, the shaper this is what is gonna allow us to do this quality of service and um, now we are going to give this policy a name and this is we're going to call this uh, the download and then we're going to give it a description 
and we're going to call it our download QoS. And that's it. That's the first step. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stay working within the same. Now this download, you could call this anything you want. You could have called this thing Daffy Duck, Mickey Mouse, whatever. So I just chose download because I sometimes I like things that make sense. Sometimes. Most of the times, actually, I like I like a nice, clean structure like that. So uh, we're going to continue to work in here. We'll do a question mark. So now we've got some other things that we configure. And the next thing we're going to configure is how much download bandwidth we have. Not bad width, bandwidth. And uh, we are going to specify that I have 110 megabits. So that's how much download speed we have, how much download bandwidth we have. Now um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set a class uh, within the um, policy and the class is where we're going to get into start. We're going to um, specify the uh, protocol that we're going to allow and then how much traffic it can use and all that. So that's what's next. And so now we're going to specify the class, and classes go from 1 to 4,095. Um, and if you're going to have multiple items that you are dividing this 100% of bandwidth um, up into, then you would need multiple classes. So if we were going to do RDP, and then we were going to do, um, you know, uh, SIP, then we would have a class 2, and then maybe SIP is going to be class 3, or it could be classes, whatever. So I just I'm starting low and I'm you know I would go in order. We're only going to do one item in this configuration, which is RDP. So I'm just going to use uh, the number two, and I'm going to give it a description, and it's going to be RDP. Okay. Now the next step is how much of that 110 meg uh, bandwidth do we want to guarantee for RDP? So maybe you got people who are streaming or they're sending files to Dropbox or doing who knows what. So in this case, we're going to say that 50% of that download has to be uh, reserved for RDP. How do we do that? So we're going to go back here and under the question mark, what we've got is we've got bandwidth. So it's going to be bandwidth and how much percentage. So here, this is going to be 50%. Okay, so now we've set, um, you know, that the we're reserving 50% for that. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to specify a ceiling for that same um, for that same class. So that's how much um, how much can it use? So we're going to allow up to 100%. So we'll do 100%. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the defaults. And the defaults say, you know, um, how much of the remaining bandwidth does does everything else get? So that's, that's what we're going to do. We're going to set these two defaults. And default bandwidth. And everything should add up to 100% here. So we'll do 50%. So we've reserved 50% and then we're saying that everything else can use 50%. And then we're going to set a ceiling. So if there's no RDP, okay, so at this point the, uh, the download's done. So now we need to do the upload. Now obviously I'm not on a symmetrical connection, so my upload is going to be where it's, uh, it's cut at. <laughs> so um, we're going to do the same thing, except now we're going to do it for upload. So I'm going to run through this real quick. Um, and it's pretty much going to be the same, except you're say, you'll see that I'm changing the upload bandwidth.
So here I'm I'm saying, you know, I need to guarantee 50% of that upload uh, bandwidth, or we could actually do, since it's so low, we could say 75%. I mean, I think that's pretty reasonable, right? You know what we forgot to do up top was we actually forgot to um, we forgot to match the I got I got so into this we forgot to match the um, RDP traffic so we're gonna do that real quick so this is how we're gonna do that. Okay, so we're going to match, and then this is arbitrary, and then IP protocol, and since RDP is its own protocol, we can actually match on RDP, and then that's done. All right, so that was the command that actually said, okay, RDP traffic, that's what we're, um, we're matching. So, um, and what, what caught me is I was doing the upload configuration, and I was like, Oh yeah, I kind, of, I kind of forgot that. So we added that back in. So um, now we're going to do that on the uh, the download or on the upload. Um, and then uh, the next thing we've got to do is now we have to apply this to interfaces. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that. Uh, my configuration may be a little bit backwards from the wizard if you use the wizard. Um, my ETH0 is my internal and my ETH1 is my internet. So normally when you run the wizard, ETH0 is internet, ETH1 is in port, but I, uh, I actually have those flopped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do um, set interfaces, Ethernet, ETH0. Uh, And then ETH1 upload. And now these are applied to the interfaces. So we should be able to do a, a commit. And then we are going to do a save. And we should be good to go. So now at this point, you've seen how to uh, create those policies and apply those. And so you should be good to go. If you've got any questions, please leave it in the comments below. I do have one more question for you. And that is, do you want to see me keep this channel ubiquity content or do you want me to open it up? Because I promise you I'm not a one trick pony. So put that in the comments. If you've got questions about quality of service, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer it. And we will see you at the next video.